Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel, you're watching Uncle Roundy Cracks Pack. Today we have a Kaldheim set booster that was given to us by Mr. Whittle, whom you may recall as the friend of both mine and of the channel, who gave us a Zendikar Rising Draft Booster to open, which ordinarily would not be too exciting a product. And yet, and yet, it had the most expensive rare in the set in it. So today he wants to see how a Kaldheim set booster is going to treat us. Kaldheim is a set I've really been popping off on lately. And we're going to open this. We're going to see what happens. No list card. Just an Elf Warrior token in the back. Uh, but as you can see, we're going to also do a little bit at the end with the... We're going to do a little bit at the end with Strixhaven. As you can see, I opened the box. There's no plastic wrap around it anymore. And uh, we're going to show off... Uh, some of the better pulls from that Strixhaven box. I opened it last night at work. It was a hoot. It was a real hoot nanny. A great time. And every uh, a good time was had by all. But first of all, we're going to start with the art card here, which is, I believe, is this, a, this is either like Cyclone Summoner. I think this is Cyclone Summoner. Let's see what the, that says. Yeah, that is Cyclone Summoner by Andre Kuzinski. Uh a bulk rare ordinarily but uh nice piece of art gotta gotta give it up for the art we've got a uh, dual land here a plains island glacial floodplain nice little snow land there it does come in tapped but it can be uh tutored out with things like far seek and what have you this looks like it's going to be a white themed pack we've got the beskir shield mate a 2-1 human warrior that also creates a human warrior when dying got the funeral longboat gonna gonna send all these cards out to sea and burn them on a funeral pyre <laughs> just kidding we're only gonna do that to the crappy ones we got invoke the divine a reprint uh we got battlefield raptor one white a one two bird with flying and first strike i do love do love me a good french vanilla creature from time to time that's that's a nice little i i like those kinds of things Stalwart Valkyrie, an Angel Warrior uh, with an alternate cost to it. Rune of Might. We're on the Uncommons now looking like. Green plus one, an Aura Rune Enchantment. Winner's Battlefield draw a card. As long as Enchanted Permanent is a creature, it gets plus one, plus one. And it has Trample. And as long as the Enchanted equip Permanent is an equipment, that equipment has Equipped Creature. It gets plus one, plus one. And it has Trample. I like the runes. The runes are really cool. Nice little way to enchant either a creature or a piece of equipment. Weathered Runestone, non-land permanent cards in graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield. And players can't cast spells from graveyards or libraries. They can still do it for hand, but still, that's a that's a nasty little piece of control right there. We got... Oh! <laughs> I wasn't ready for the Mythic pull yet. Oh, man! Oh, man! Oh, what a good hit! Oh, Mr. L Mr. Little, I bow at your feet. Uh, you can continue to be my friend for another day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a good pull right there. Mr. Goldspan Dragon, Red Red 3, a 4-4 dragon with flying in haste. Whenever Goldspan Dragon attacks or becomes the target of a spell... Create a treasure token. Treasures you control have tap, sacrifice this artifact. Add two mana of any one color. Oh boy. I ha That was so exciting that I somehow got hair in my mouth. That is... Oh, that is an outstanding pull right there. One of the... One of the more expensive mythics in Kaldheim. See, man, Kaldheim. Just been good good to me lately whether it's me buying the packs other people buying the packs for me oh my gosh gold span dragon that is a that is a beautiful pull i was not ready for uh i was still we were only two uncommons deep and i was wow i was not ready for that well are we ready for this Turgri oh my gosh <laughs> this is an outstanding pack Turgrid got a fright Black Black 3, a Legendary God, 4-5 with Menace. Whenever an opponent sacrifices a non-token permanent or discards a permanent, you may put that card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. That's disgusting. The other side is an artifact. 
which is Turgrid's Lantern. Legendary artifact. Black plus three. Tap target player loses three life unless they sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card. And for three in black, untap Turgrid's Lantern. Uh, among rares in the set, that's pretty solid. That is, oh my gosh. And uh, what? Let's just let's just whip the foil up into the camera. Oh, it's not a foil yet. The, this is just uh, some wild card, I think. Frostbite. Okay. A uh, little bit of a. Th this is kind of a cool card, actually. A snow instant, one red, deals two damage to target creature or planeswalker. If you control three or more snow permanents, it deals three damage instead. So it's kind of like a snow lightning bolt, but with a little bit more limited range. I think it's cool in the right scenario. What, okay, so this is going to be a foil. What's it going to be? A common. Squash. <laughs> okay. Costs three less to cast if you control a giant. Makes sense. Deals six damage to target creature or planeswalker. Dang, that is that is juicy. But man, okay, okay. Gold span and Turgrid. That is a beautiful pair of pulls right there. That is awesome. And speaking of good pulls, we're going to put Goldspan and Turgrid aside for now, uh, much as it pains me to do so. But uh, we're going to uh, now, a little bit of bonus segment here. We're going to look at uh, some of the better pulls I got from the, uh, or some of the, I guess, uh, more exciting, flashier pulls that I got from the uh, Strixhaven box. Uh, I, I managed to pull eight Mythics from that box. Um... Not all of these are mythics, however. I am also going to show off at least a couple of the rares. Uh, first up, we got Extus, Auric Overlord here. Uh, human Warlock with Double Strike. On the other side, he is this nasty black and red sorcery that uh, you sacrifice any number of creatures to reduce the cost. That's a, that is a pretty heavy cost right there. Six plus black plus red. Eight mana, but it can be reduced by sacrificing creatures each opponent sacrifices a creature, and you get this nasty little three-six black and red avatar. Uh, this is a this is a pretty gross card right here. I think this is a. Uh, I don't know how good he is as a commander. Might be better as part of the ninety-nine in a in a deck with those three colors as color identity: black, white, and red. But uh, yeah, really liked that pull. Uh, I was hoping to get one of the elder dragons, and I did. I got Shadrick's Silver Quill. Uh, I was, I will openly admit, I was kind of openly, openly lusting for Galazeth Prismari, but I was at least hoping I would get a, an Elder Dragon, one of the five Elder Dragons, and I did, and this one is pretty solid if you look at its, uh, if you look at its stats down there. Uh, I got the double-sided Rowan and Will Planeswalker, very nice, one side is red. Uh, one side is blue. They have different abilities. Rowan and Will. Uh, they're off at Andover studying their French. That's a Donald Bartlemay reference. Read a book! So you got... And there's this land cycle here. Uh, I like these lands. There's a there's a land cycle there in Strixhaven. The Snarl lands. Uh, they're kind of similar to the uh, Dominaria lands. Where it's like... Uh, as it enters the battlefield, you may reveal a swamp or forest card from your hand. If you don't, it enters the battlefield tapped. Uh, the wording is a little different. These are a little wordier than those uh, Dominaria and Ixalan lands. You know the ones I'm talking about, like uh, like Hinterland Harbor, Woodland Cemetery, stuff like that. Uh, where it was like, those came in tapped unless you controlled one or the other. Uh, but... These, you just have to reveal one from your hand, which that should be pretty easy to do. These are only about two-something dollars right now, but, you know, a good rare land. These are pretty easy to make come in untapped, and uh, this kind of thing will only go up. I, I think these will eventually reach about five or six bucks, so I'm going to hang on to these. Uh, anytime I get a Snarl land, I'm going to be happy. We got Ecological Appreciation. I think we can all appreciate some nice little ecology especially when it has us uh putting putting cards onto the battlefield directly onto the battlefield without tapping without passing go without collecting 200 dollars. we got blot out the sky that's fun 
It's a little creates a bunch of tokens and is also also functions as a board wipe if you're able to pay the mana. This is a nice little late game move right here. We got Hoffrey Ghost Forge. This is another this was the first mythic I pulled out of the out of the box. Um did not seem very exciting to me at first, but the more I look at this card, I think okay. So the deal with Strixhaven, we're gonna gonna get off on a little bit of a tangent here. I think Strixhaven uh wanted to do something interesting with enemy pairs and for about four out of five of the pairs they just kind of ended up copying ravnica but uh but with the boros uh color combo the red and white um i think they really got weird with the red and white in a good way and i think there's some really interesting stuff in here and I'm wondering if this is viable as a commander. Like, if you... I'm not going to read it here. It's pretty wordy. If you are interested, you can pause and look at it if you want. But, yeah. I This card has potential, I think. I I think there's something to it. I think it's... I think it could make for a good casual time. Uh, who knows? I got, uh... Every box comes with at least one signed art card generally, but I got two, which is pretty hard to do because uh, there's 30 packs in a box and uh, the odds of hitting a signed art card are 1 in 20. So realistically, you can only expect to get one signed art card per box. And this is my second signed art card by uh, Slavomir Maniac. Uh Got, got two cards with his signature on it. Quite nice. Quite nice there. That's Torrent Sculptor. Uh, but you can also get artwork from the Mystical Archive on an art card. And this one is by Robbie Trevino. I like the signature going all the way across the, the bottom there. You got the nice little uh, portrait art. And then along the bottom there. Very beautiful. Very beautiful indeed. And then, you know, there's a Mystical Archive card in every in every set booster, in every draft booster as well. And boy, howdy, did I hit the big money with that. Got a Teferi's Protection, easily the biggest single hit of the box. This is a $35 card right here. Uh, a, a Commander staple for a while there, but... Pretty, pretty prohibitively expensive. Pretty hard to get. But you know what? You could luck out in a Strixhaven pack just like I did. And get yourself a Teferi's Protection. And also got another Mythic, uh, another Mythic Mystical Archive card here. Channel. I'm just showing it off because it's a Mythic mostly. Uh, there's nothing especially valuable about it. But, okay, but that wraps up the really good pulls from the Strixhaven box, which was fun to open and was amazing and was overall lucrative. But what we are going to do now is we need to, we need to sleeve up Turgrid here. Tur Miss Turgrid got a fright. She deserves a sleeve, especially as uh, I would really like to build a discard... A discard heavy deck at some point uh, got the double-sided Turgrid God of Fright there that is an excellent rare from the set and absolutely is gold span dragon gonna get a sleeve so that's a that's a double sleeve up man mr. little your generosity and your ability to pick monster pack mr. little has the diamond hands I will tell you what he he knows how to pick a good pack and that is going to do it for today. A little bit of a long episode, but we did get to show off some goodies. And, uh, boy, fun time, fun times in Magic lately. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, join us next time. My local Target got in a shitload of Jumpstart, so expect to see that over the next few pack purchases for as long as they have that. Maybe something like Commander or Legends sprinkled in. I don't know. Uh, it's going to be a nice time no matter what, I can assure you. Have yourself a lovely day. A lovely day. Please don't sue me, Bill Withers.